Hi there, Sandra Mateo here from Gitana Styling and today is Wednesday. Um, today is day number three of our training personal styling for you and your brand. Um, let's do a quick recap. On Monday we talked about the foundation uh, of our business, of our brand. We talked about how all the different messages we were sending out there had to kind of go together, right? And, and sum up to a big message. And then on Tuesday, we talk about colors and styles um, to make sure that those messages are represented visually in the right way, that they match what you're saying in the uh, with the messages, right, visually. And then today, we're getting personal because we're going to go into personal styling. We're going to focus more on you as a person, as the owner of your business. And we want to make sure that also what you're putting out there when you go to events, when you speak, um, you also go with your message and the visual and the graphics that you're putting out there so uh, today's worksheet by the way I have my worksheet here and what I'm doing is that I'm doing these videos every day for you right and then when I'm done I'm taking some time to answer these questions on my own as well um, so I go through the process with you guys and what I'm gonna do is that by the end of the week I have this big folder where I have everything about my business like you know my passwords um, different notes and things that I'm working on at the moment I'm gonna go and put all this stuff there so I have it keep it handy so every time you know I'm putting something out there I can use it as well so that's just an idea um, if you want to do the same keep it in a folder um, so you can you know actually use it <laughs> that'll be awesome um, today you actually got two uh, worksheets one is the personal style worksheet we would have here two pages and then our second one is a bonus and it's called quick fixes and I'll talk a little bit about that one um, later on so first let's start with the questions um, number one what kinds of activities events uh, do you participate in as a business so I want you to think about the things you do as a business if you go let's say to um, fundraising events or maybe you go to networking events or maybe you go to a monthly breakfast event every um, every month or maybe you do a video a week so all those things that require you to show up as a business um, write those activity down so we kind of know uh, what you need in terms of wardrobe the second question is how much time do you dedicate to each of these activities so let's say you have the networking event the breakfast networking event that is once a month so okay great so from the 30 days it's just once a month um, but maybe you have a weekly video you put out there uh, so uh, you know roughly a month has between four or five weeks it depends right and then um, so you need four outfits for that so it's just to kind of give you an idea of the amount of clothing for you need for each thing just so you know next time you get dressed and you don't have something um, for let's say going to the breakfast thing you don't keep uh, buying clothing for the videos right uh, you would need to be sure about how much time you're spending in each activity and in which activity you're missing clothes or you're missing the perfect outfit to get out there and express you know and represent your brand the next one is do you need more clothes in a particular category so once you have figured out all those different categories it will be very easy for you to see, to see right like okay you know every time I'm gonna go to the networking event I don't have anything to wear so that's the kind of place where you would you know write that down and that way next time you go shopping um, you know you know okay I need to buy something more professional for this kind of event or if it's if it's when they invite you to like a nighttime thing right you don't have dresses a certain dress to go to those events so then make a note there as well the next question is define your style in three words so I want you to think about the three words I, be, I keep using this three words thing because I think it's very easy to narrow it down um, to help you like because you know we're creative and we have so many different things me myself I have 
I would say I, I could describe my style in three words, but you know, some days I wake up and I feel a certain way and I feel like dressing a certain way and maybe the next day I want to uh, dress a different way, right? It's normal, but you want to keep it so you have three like main words that represent your style and that those three main words go also with those three words that describe your business and those three words uh, that of the emotions and stuff that we talked about the day before as well. You want all of them to work together. Let's say um, you're one of your things, right? One of the words to describe your business is that you're very trendy, right? You keep up with the trends. You're very, um, you know, you're always about what's coming up in fashion. Yet when you show up to these events, you look like you haven't shopped in years. So you have to, you know, it, it sounds dumb, but a lot of people do that. They, whatever they say they are, they don't represent it physically. So if that's the thing, then you, you know you need to add a, a couple of trendy pieces in your wardrobe. You know what I mean? Then the next question is, do, these, do those three words match your brand? What I just said. Make sure that those words, you know, um, go together with that style, that brand that you're putting out there in pictures or um, every time you send a newsletter, if all that stuff goes together. By the way, if you need any help in any of these areas, I'll be happy to. This is what I do, right? Um, but, you know, you can also, uh, if you have a specific question, you can share it below in the comment section. Then we have, what can you do to match your personal style and brand style? So, if this is not working right now, um, if you think you're on this side and then your brand is on the other side, what things can you do to start blending those together to be a, a, a storefront to have you know to be a solid brand so for example what I said just now like if you're trendy right if your brand is really trendy and it's you know up and coming with all the trends and and the fashion and everything make sure that you're buying certain clothing pieces that represent that as well so when you go to an event you're like oh yes yeah, that's the trendy lady you know what I mean um, also if you know maybe when we talked about brand colors um, and maybe your brand color is green to give you an example so you know how can you incorporate that in your wardrobe right maybe um, you can always wear something green when you go to the events there's little things that you can um, put out there to help everything like kind of go together right then we have remember your brand colors on day two list them again so I, I want you to list them again here so you kind of have all this styling thing all together um, because again um, for the branding part is awesome when you're putting together your graphics and everything you're sending out but when you're getting ready you can have your colors there also and maybe incorporate incorporate them that way that doesn't mean that every time you're going to go out there you're going to be dressing green if that's your brand color but I just want you to have it in your head so maybe you can incorporate that right some people I remember when I was in Miami um, there was this lady that everything was pink she loves pink everything was pink her branding was pink and every time she went to an event she had pink uh, heels so you know even if you didn't know her in person, you've heard about her, you heard about the pink shoes, um, she puts, she writes something funny about it in her social media, she always shares how she's buying new um, pink shoes and that kind of thing, you will go to an event and then you would see her and you're like, ah, oh, that's the lady that does this thing and she always wears the pink shoes, so it helps, it definitely helps. Um, then we have, how can you incorporate these colors into your wardrobe? So again, all these questions, one leads to the next one. And my, my goal is that when you, you know, finish watching this video and you sit down and take those five to 10 minutes to answer these, right? You can think of your own way to make this happen. I'm just giving you ideas of, of how I do it, how people that I've helped uh, uh, around along the way have done it as well um, so you find the way that works best for you then the final question is if you have a character a sign a prop in your branding can you incorporate it into your look so another lady um, in 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 a community of business women that I work with um, she always everything about her is with diamonds 
um, her branding is just because you are a diamond in the rough, so everything is about the diamond. And she would you would go to her events, and in the ta on the tables, she would decor it with fake diamonds, you know, plastic diamonds, really cute ones. And you you know everybody would take diamonds home with them. Um, and then every time she would put a post out there in social media, it would have a little diamond, and she would talk around that, talk, use those terms of like how you're a diamond in the rough and that kind of thing. So that's that's very helpful um, again you don't have to use a monogram or a, a little sign or prop or whatever but if it helps you if it feels comfortable to use that's a way for you to communicate uh, what your brand does and your message then amazing now the bonus I included today which is called the quick fixes is a personal styling tool I put together um, about quick fixes about things that you don't like in your body so this is I put this in because everyone you know the, the most common thing is I oh, Sandra I hate my blah 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 how can I fix this and you know I'm the kind of person that I, I'm all for you know surgeries and 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 botox and all kinds of things if they make you happy and you want to do them go ahead right but I'm also about dressing what you have dressing it well so you feel great um, so this little piece of paper will help you with that so I wrote here um, you know because it's not about having a perfect body it's about dressing the beautiful body that you have that's one of our beliefs here in Gitana Styling. So I put there some things, some recommendations. If you have a big chest or if you have no chest or if you have a big butt, if you have a jelly belly, if you have no waist and if you have big arms. So um, make sure that you receive this one. I sent both in the same um, email. And then let's um, let me tell you a little bit about tomorrow's training. Tomorrow we're going to talk about communications. So my goal is that once you're very clear about the messages you're putting out there, which we talk about on Monday, then on Tuesday we talked about how to make that visual, right, with the right colors and styles. Today we talk about you as a person, how to make sure that you are showing up in the best way possible and representing your brand in the best way possible. And tomorrow we're going to talk about communications, you know, the vehicles that you're using to put that stuff out there. So, you know, social media, newsletters, all kinds of things that you're using to spread the message and tell people about your brand and your business. So you can't miss it tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. So if you have any questions for today, just leave them below. Let me know how it's going. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome day, guys. Bye.